What is up YouTube? It is Hollywood Floss, the worst producer of all time. Back with another video. In today's video, we got a banger. Alright, you know I don't say that often, but when it's something hot, it's something hot. Tune track has dropped back to the roots. Drum midi. Brand new old school grooves. Laid back pocket style grooves inspired by folk soul blues hip-hop and more but before we go any further make sure you hit that like and subscribe button hit the notification bell so you get any video i upload to the channel now if you don't know they have a superior drummer tune track that's superior drummer easy keys easy bass those are the the cornerstones and they are excellent products all right let me tell you they're excellent products um midi is important because a lot of us don't know how to play like quest love or play like travis barker right so midi allows us to use their style and create and help the workflow so we're going to go into fl studio and check out back to the roots drum midi from tune track in superior drummer three i know that's a lot all right let's go to fl studio and check it out so we're in fl studio i got back to the roots already loaded up and let me show you how this works out. So you go here, when you get MIDI files, you go here and then you select which one. So you can go back to the roots, Sky uh, Polston, and then slow tempo, mid tempo. All right, that's what they got for us today. And you can just pick any style that you want. I have the hip hop um, sound bank, but if not, it'll, it'll come as an acoustic bank. And I'm at 75 for the tempo. So here is some of the sounds some of the loops It's the old school at the lunch table, you know. Somebody don't got the pen, they just got their hand and yeah. And I think there's over 160. So we're gonna get into it, how I will use it. So let's say we pick, let's go lay back. All right, so let's go to straight forward. Let's go to a mid tempo. And we are just trying to get an intro going. Or verse going so let's say we drop it in here it's an eight bar loop and you can really go in here and you can really craft the sound right So let's say we didn't like how the kick sound. You come here, you highlight what you don't like or what you do like, and you can change the sound from there. So now you're getting different kick drums to fit your needs. You can do that with the snare as well. And you can individualize the sounds of or the tuning of that snare or whatever the the Congo the the, the cymbal the rod whatever and all of these if you see a picture of it it's part of the 
production, right? So this makes it that much better for us who don't have drum sets, don't have the recording equipment. This is your session drummer right here. Let's go to some more grooves. You can keep going so forth and so forth. Swing, if you want to swing. So let's remove this one and take that one. And then let's say we want to we don't like just the, how it turns around that's a good turnaround but let's say we don't like it we can go into the fields I just like to go into basic rock field you drag down the field that you do like and then just merge them together and that's how you keep on creating infinite possibilities. So if you feel like um, your four bar loops, your eight bar loops are too boring, they're stagnant, you mix and match different ones and you get new drum patterns. Cause you know, you know, you'd like to hear that drum pattern over and over again, but then 16 bars is like, man, add another kick, add another hi-hat, add another variation. So but back to um, just back to the roots. I'm going to be sticking in the, the straight 4-4 category. Maybe a little bit of the swing 4-4 for my um, hip hop soulism. I like that a lot. Also you got the tracker, you got the mixer, you can go in and mix, turn up the kick, turn down, whatever you got, and then the actual um, grooves, the drums, drums, and then the actual placement, like the actual MIDI, if you want that, you can do that as well. So I usually just drop that off. And you can, I, you can do it in piano roll, but they also have a feature where you can do it and show that inside superior drummer grid editor and you can just add on here you can actually just go ahead and you or you can move it around if you want Draw it in how you see fit. Whatever the case may be, and then you can change the settings if you want to get even stronger with it. It's 164th instead of 18th or 116th, however you want to put it in. This is going to sound weird, but whatever. You can, it's so much details that someone like myself, uh, you know, no training and drumming or anything like that. I just know what I like to hear or what sounds cool, but nowhere near Travis Barker or Quest Love. You get to get their styles or similar styles to, you know, these drummers, these world class drummers, and then you can manipulate from there. So, infinite possibilities. Great job with Superior Drummer 3. And back to the roots. It's your boy Hollywood Floss, the worst producer of all time. Please, please, please make sure you go to my site, Hollywood Floss. 
www.beatstars.com and you can shop with me. I have a new loop kit. But other than that, I have a lot of kits. If you like West Coast or loop kits or MIDI in melody form, I have that. It's Scalar 2, we have that. We just got a lot of stuff going on right now. So make sure make sure you come shop. Hollywoodfloss.beatstars.com Hit the like and subscribe button. Still trying to grow this YouTube. Still trying to grow TikTok. Still trying to grow Instagram. Hollywood Floss on all sites or HW Floss. Search it up. You'll find me. All right. It's your boy. Until the next time. Peace.